Hey everybody, this is the new Ricoh Theta X camera I just received. Um, so I just turned it on and went through the setup process. I've got it plugged into USB because it's charging the battery. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like starting out. I really like the big screen on it. That's nice. I think it's 2.1 inches. I don't know, but it's pretty nice screen. Uh, I had the uh, one three sixty X two, I believe it was, and I just didn't like how small the screen was, so I went on ahead and sent it back and got this one. Plus, I want more resolution. It was a good camera, though, no doubt about it. But yeah, this is really nice. I like it. So, um, but basically, that's I think the only thing to really show here is the screen and then after that um, I'm gonna try to see if I can see what the app looks like then from there we can kinda see what the pictures look like so this is the app that I downloaded for the Android um, as soon as I turn it on it as long as it's connected it seems like it goes directly to uh, the basically the screen is what you'd see on the camera itself so if I go here to settings the gear at the top right what's really neat about this camera is it does allow you to connect to the camera through your Wi-Fi network so you don't have to connect directly to the camera uh, you can go to uh, the Wi-Fi mode um, go back and go here so you have any images that are on the device itself on, on whatever phone or tablet you're using is going to be here. So I don't have anything here. And then the next icon here is the cam images. That's whatever is actually taken. So you can see I took a few on the camera, but I haven't transferred them to the device. And then the Theta 360, I don't really know much about that. Um, doesn't look like it's something that's going to connect while I'm connected to the um, to the camera. And then this here is uh, the settings area here. So where it says connection Wi-Fi, if I click that um, or go to camera settings, it lets me decide if I'm going to go to another mode. I'm not really sure if it's going to let me do it here or not. 2.4 versus 5. Camera settings. So that's how I would do it. So anyway, if I wanted to take a picture, I'll go to the bottom right of the screen where that little icon is there. And it pulls up the preview screen. So this is what it looks like in preview. Um... So it looks pretty cool. I think I can say take a picture here if I wanted to. Um, and then there's a button down here for 360s. So if I hit that, it goes into a looks like a a pano mode. So I guess the first click turns it off, and the second click is a pano mode. And then if I hit it again, it goes back to 360. So that's pretty neat. Oh wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. So, and then there's options down here for white balance. Um, let's see. I don't know about all these settings here. I don't really need all those settings. For now, I don't. But at the top, it tells you the battery life, the image size, and then you can hit record if you want to go to a recording instead of a picture. I hear they don't really record for very long. It looks like it says five minutes there. But I'm not going to really do much recording. So back at the picture mode, I guess if I take a picture now. There it is. So now you can see what it looks like. It's very clear. 
Only thing I notice is at the top here, the looks like there's like a some kind of light going through the lens or something. Like it's the way the light hits the lens, it kind of shows like a little thing in the middle there. But it could be it just needs to be cleaned off of the picture. But anyway, yeah, it looks pretty good otherwise. Uh, it's pretty neat how I can spin around. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think it's really good camera. I like it. It probably doesn't have the same resolution. Well, this has the a higher resolution than the Z1, but I think they did. It looks like a better job with the lens on this one versus the Z1. On the Z1, you can kind of see like a little bit of purple on the side of a light and I think they cut down on that with this one so I really like this one uh, and they also have like a VR mode it looks like looks like you can it uses the the camera itself to I mean not the camera but your device that you're using to move around and see what it would look like I guess if you have a headset on or something so that's pretty cool kind of like a built-in VR setting but yeah I like it it's pretty cool it's got like a share button at the top if I wanted to share it with somebody so I don't know how long this battery is going to last um, right now I am I keep it on the USB charger so but for now that's all I would need to do with it is just take a few pictures but other than that that's pretty much about it um, pretty neat little simple it's a pretty simple looking app but yeah i mean it's, it's pretty nice for what it is it's not really much to it other than taking pictures or video so other than that that's pretty much about it